well. That was a fun day, test riding some Suzuki's. Alive. That's absolutely correct, Neil. We better kill him first. Now, unfortunately, one of the test ride videos I ain't going to be able to publish because it didn't record. Because just before we set off, I swapped the battery in the camera so I'd have a nice full battery to go with. Uh, turns out that battery was actually flat, and I didn't realise when I fired the camera up and. Uh, press record but literally as soon as we were rolling away from Lumi's it just died so there's no GSR 750 video so um, all I can do is talk about it really um, that it was the first one I took out and uh, it's the first time I'd ridden an inline 4 which was uh, a little bit different Now people usually say it about inline fours, oh they're, they're a bit sluggish lower down, but I didn't really think so, I, it, it seemed to pick up really well, um, just as good as anything else. I mean the, it's, what is it, 100 and, it was 103 brake horsepower or something around that figure, and 85, 85 newton metres of torque, I think this is off the top of my head, um, and yeah it was uh, plenty torquey enough and uh, Click off the mark, and uh, what we did we, on, on each test ride, we went around the Morstead Loop. Some of you may be familiar with that. Uh, it's just like a, a series of roads around Lumi's. So uh, it sort of does one big loop uh, that takes about 40 minutes, something like that. Well, on a bike, it doesn't take 40 minutes, but uh, yeah. Um, most of it, I, I was doing it in sixths because it could quite easily handle. Uh, going through the bends and stuff and accelerating away the other side uh, with yeah plenty of torque and stuff so yeah it was uh, it was quite surprising a very smooth ride as well it, it was really smooth I could see the uh, the appeal of uh, inline fours because they are known to be uh, a bit smoother than uh, twins and things so yeah it was a good good test ride on that it was actually, and I was expecting a little bit of a sporty riding position, but it wasn't. It was uh, nice and upright, very uh, comfortable, quite a natural riding position. So yeah, that's about the best I can do with a review on the GSR 750. Sorry about that. I was hoping to uh, have three test ride videos uh, to do, but I've only got the two, unfortunately. Um, but oh well, the other two are pretty good. Uh, after the GSR. I went on to the V-Strom 650 and wow, that um, that was full of surprises for me. First time riding something that huge. And I know it's not the hugest bike out there, but it's the biggest bike with a physical presence um, that I've ridden. And that, I, I love that. I, um, I can see the appeal of adventure bikes. Uh, there seems to be a common misconception that uh, adventure bikes are dull and boring on the road uh, but they're really not they are a lot of fun so yeah the V-Strom was a good one uh, I'm gonna try and get back up to Hazelmere to book my own test ride on it so I can sort of I can have a bit more freedom uh, to do what I wanted to do because we were a bit unlucky on that one because uh, a lot of the bends I wanted to go through we were stuck in behind a few cars so we weren't going as quick as I'd like to have a bit of a go on some of them so um, yeah it'd be good to get a test ride an independent test ride because uh, all these test rides I didn't know it was going to work this way but yeah all, all the test rides we've done today were in uh, arranged in groups so I think I prefer doing things my way <laughs> go, like having the freedom to go down the roads I want to go down and also I could pull over and do a bit of a walk around and that sort of thing obviously I couldn't do that with uh, with these bikes but yes uh, the V-Strom is definitely one I'll uh, take back out again and do a bit more of a, a bit more of a review if I can. And then finally, it was onto the SV650, which was very surprising. Actually, I wasn't expecting it to be as quick as it is. It's actually a fairly small bike, really. It's it's, it's quite compact <laughs> um, and quite slim. So it'll certainly be good for uh, the urban riders out there. But yeah, that, I was surprised how quick that uh, picks up for a 650. 
the, the only problem with the SV650 is the seat. It's not very comfortable. And uh, yeah, I still haven't quite recovered from that. <laughs> it is a very hard seat. And I wasn't the only one to say that as well. Uh, a couple of the other guys who tested it said the same thing. It is quite hard. It's quite a nice thing to do. If, 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 uh, if you're near one of the cafes that they're doing it at, it's not just at Lumi's. Suzuki are doing it at cafes up and down the country. Uh, so I would recommend going onto their website and uh, getting yourself booked onto something and uh, give it a go. Anyway, that was my day. That was uh, good fun. And I'll certainly do some more if uh, such similar events uh, occur again. Thank you all for watching. In fact, there is. Oh, nothing next weekend. Next weekend at Whiteways, BMW. Ooh. Almost forgot about that. Okay. We're getting on the Tinter web when we get home and we're going to get some test rides booked on some BMs. If there's any still available. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ride safe and I'll see you soon. Oh my word, this thing's humongous. <laughs> and it's only the smaller version as well. G'day guys, Mr. Ross Adventure here. <laughs> what am I doing on one of these? This is far too big for me.